citizens of the reject nation after months of requests. And since uh, I'm out of town from the 12th to the 20th, I figured it's about time we answer the call. And I got my buddy Aaron Alexander to join me today for this R, R, R. Aaron, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm in the Christmas spirit. Oh, yeah, the grr, the R right grr, there. The R, 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 R. I have never seen a frame. I've never seen a clip, a trailer, a mini thing on YouTube. I've never seen anything about that. Have you? I haven't the slightest clue what this I have about. no idea what we're walking into, but I've been bombarded forever <laughs> to watch this. So I was like, all right, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Gonna do it, guys smash that like button and as always full length reaction watch alongs where you sync up with your own copy of rr available for our super sexy rejects at our patreon page we also cover exclusively several shows over there with reaction highlights and watch alongs included all movie reactions you see here full length watch alongs over there i hear it's exciting i've had people at parties be like you should do rrr <laughs> so apparently it's an exciting film no idea what we're going to get into right now but let's see There's white people in this? Yeah, I think this is uh, the Brits. Uh, it's amazing. Who's the artist? I want to have this little package on our mantelpiece. Edward. Yes, sir. There we go. There we go. Oh, mm, dang. <laughs> no. Do you comprehend the value of the bullet in your barrel? It was manufactured in an English factory using English metals. It crossed the seven seas in an English vessel. By the time it reached the barrel of your gun, <laughs> it cost one pound. One pound sterling. Oh and you would want to squander it on brown rubbish. Ouch. Oh, damn. Clear the road. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh. Why? Wow, Damn. the production design on this is gnarly. That's powerful. That's a great shot. You should recruit this guy. Ah, <laughs> arrest that bastard! Bring him to me. Ah! So, go out into the crowd, arrest that one guy. Right, he's about to throw down. Oh my god. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Mr. Officer, what are you doing? Damn, this guy's steel. Claustrophobic. Wow. He's in a man cave. Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh my god. He's geez. gonna really make his way out this crowd. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna finish that assignment. <laughs> Thing I wanna understand is why is he fighting so hard for the Brits? I know. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, God. He's powered by vengeance and good mustache jeans. Ooh. That's cool. Wow. That's a beautiful shot. The fire is reflective of this man's passion. 
Job well done. Very good. Why are those buckets labeled fire? Oh shit. Damn. I meant to put out fires. Oh, right back to his post. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, crowd cowers away. Have been deemed worthy wow. out of 75 well, candidates show. for their exceptional contribution. They are Philip Anderson, Charles Langford, Frank Poole. You gotta be shitting me. Wow. <laughs> Did swinging on that rope actually save him time? No, but it looked cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Dang, a tiger, too? Homie Yikes. ain't playing. Oh, they're going to come hit each other? Damn. Damn. These some gnarly visuals. Oh no! No! Oh! Ooh. That's awesome. <laughs> this is crazy. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Put it together. You can do it. Flex like you've never flexed before. <gasps> oh, now you no. can really tie it together. Did you knock it out? Oh my god, just those claws alone can... Right. Yeah. Aww. I've been kicking, and this damn thing won't stop. Got it, it's off back, it's Remove something earlier and attached it now so you can charge me again. You cheating wow. bastard. You have no idea who you're messing with, man. We have a hunter targeting the governor roaming free. We have nothing on him. You mean nothing? It's quite an impossible task. How the hell are we supposed to catch him? The one that accomplishes the impossible mm. will be promoted to the rank of special officer. Where's mustache boy? Do you want him dead? Or alive. There he is. There's Mustache Boy. Stop it! Stop! Why are you hitting him like that? He's forgotten his ID, ma'am. That doesn't give you the right to treat him like an animal. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> She's good. She's beautiful. They were watching the ploy that he's playing at. God, you know, Not like this is cool. Gnarly. <laughs> Damn. Wow, how they did this shot. Super drunk. Well, he's somewhere in that region. <laughs> Oh, ooh! Hey, that's not good. Holy God. Jesus. Oh, oh. It's going to hit that child. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, my God. Fire and water. Hmm. So what's the plan here? Right. I was like, did you understand their plan? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow they communicated to it from very far away. <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> nope. 
<laughs> I don't have the slightest clue. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Cool. Yikes. <laughs> awesome. Hell yeah. He's gonna catch him with the flag. Oh, they're gonna trade. Oh, oh, dope. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Raju, Akhtar! <laughs> oh, oh God. That will last forever! R, R, R! This is just the beginning! <laughs> oh. Hey. Rise, Rise roar, roar, revolt! <laughs> Brothers! <laughs> oh, my God. They're going to work together. Yeah, I thought they're gonna fight. This is better. I mean, he's got to be like trying to work his way up the ranks in some way to get. He must have some type of vendetta mission, right? Seems that way. <laughs> I love this friendship. <laughs> if you don't squat your homie, you're not really friends. <laughs> He's so smitten. Bang the white lady. Bang the colonizer. Bat to karna chata hu, bhai. Lekin karu kaise? Arey guru, ladki se baat karne ke liye rasta dhoonte nahi. Khud banate hain. Do motorcycle We're going to throw these needles at her. That'll get her attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing playground rules here. Just be really mean to her. Popper tires. I think they're going to do that. I feel, yeah. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> We're such rascals. Who's going to pop some tires for fun? They watch as 10 men mugger. Sadak par keel fake it na. It's the perfect plan. <laughs> Is there a, a, a bus stop or a tram station nearby? Pooch rahi hai, aas paas koi bus stop ya tram station hai. Haan, bilkul paas mein hai. Naa mein hundi hila. Perhaps you can... Ask him for a ride. Hmm? Oh, are you going that way? Pooch rahi hai, us taro ja raha hai. Usko lufte ka? Nay, nay, nay. Ab haa bol. Haa haa. Dude. Ek baar dekhna tha, Mim sahab. Main, main utar a sakta hoon kya? I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. He wants to go inside your home and make love to you and you have his children. Passionately. Aapka naam kya hai, Mim sahab? Oh, don't call me Mim sahab. It's just Jenny. Yes? Jenny. Babri, it's not bad enough. It's just Jenny. Yes? Just Jenny. It's just Jenny. It's just Jenny. It's just Jenny. Jenny is her It's not for me. There is a small girl staying with us. Mally. Oh? This is her. <laughs> I love the music, dude. What's he about to make? Oh, a bracelet. Wow, that was really fast. How beautiful. She's going to love it. There is a party at the Jim Carner Club. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. 
Please do try to come. Bye. You will learn English in the next few hours. <laughs> I will study dil dil diligently. Aaron will also learn English. I will learn not to stutter. <laughs> I will fix it before the time this movie's over. <laughs> A bangle? It's a clue. Hell yeah. Aww. Aww. Ye diya usne. Dekho. Ah, uh, Feb 14th. Are ye to aaj hai? It's Valentine's Day. If you're in need of a dance partner, Jennifer, you need to look any further. Oh, I'm your pivot. Looking at the best dancer around here. Oh, yes. I second that. Aww. How dork he is and how suave he is. Come, let's join the party. You both carry on. I'll join you in a while. Huh? Uh, bye. I love how this whole movie, he was full of fury until he met him. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he was quite a charming guy. He just needed a bro. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to dance? Oh, this is where you speak the I love language. Come on, we must dance. Oh, he knows how to dance. You have no idea. <laughs> He's about to make a literal hole in that dance floor. Baby, I run from tigers in the jungle. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I dance with the devil. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. He hurt a white woman. We'd have a dance off. Oh, snip. Oh, dang. Let's get this shit on the road, man. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Show him up. Show him up. Come on. Can you do any of these? Huh? Break dance. Oh, yeah, shit. Baby. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Support your brother. The man yes. you're hunting. <laughs> it always starts with the bob. Not salsa, not flamenco, my brother. Do you know? Desi Nach? Homie's so suave, dude. I What's know. Desi Nach? Yes. Hell yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. yes, look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> yes. yes. Look at him go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, they are uh, perfectly synced. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> this is wild. I love it. This is the I power of brotherhood. I want this song, right? Can't hang, homie. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? <laughs> Into their super What are they move? gonna do? Yes. Hey, hey. Oh my god. Hey. Lose for her. Lose. Elevate him. Elevate your brother. Don't cock block him. Octal! Wait till you see what he does with a tiger. <laughs> oh, we can go home now. <laughs> why don't you carry me like that? <laughs> you know why. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bad cramp. Can you drop him at uh, New Bazaar? Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, they're barely even sweating. Would you like to come to my place? This one looks so much like Roseburn. Before I drop you home. Put your hair coffee in a garage. Molly. Yo, you've lost sight of the mission. Of the prize, man. There's a. Oh my God, he's about to put it together right now. Huh. Oh, please don't put it together right now. Right in this moment. Wait. Was it the color of the thing? वो पहली बार मुझसे मिला था तब उसने मेरे कंधे पर हाथ रखा था उसके नाखूनों में ऐसा ही रंग था वो पक्का पेंटर ही होगा। Got it. 
that's not our guy. No, no, but it's the first guy who um, earlier in the movie when he was chasing him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when they were at the gate. Oh. oh, there's that anger. There's that fury. Open the gates. Be cool, man. Be cool. Servants cannot use the main entrance, man. He is not a servant. He's my friend. Let him go. As you wish, man. Can't wait for these people to die. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, break it down. You know how to do it. My little Debbie. Hop now, Gavona. Huh? You're not here, no. But you have to go. मुझे यहाँ छोड़ के मत जाओ। माँ की बहुत याद आती है। Oh, she doesn't know, does she? I mean, he knows where she's located now, so yeah, to start. सामने से वार करना होगा। जो भी रास्ते में आए उसे काट डालेंगे। Jungle. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> ah. He's got beautiful fingernails. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was really confused there for a second. <laughs> Oh, she is the other half. <laughs> I was like, he's really nice. <laughs> he did mention no, his this love. Must be his, this must be his backstory to it. Yeah. Somehow he's, this will get him back to her, right? That's, this, this has got to be the reason why he's doing this. That's the real question. Snake, get me out of here, Snake. Come on. Come on, Snake, bro. Snake, bite through this. For heaven's Snake, get me out of here. <laughs> got him. That was really good timing, man. Whoa, whoa, damn. Oh, damn, he got him. It's pretty calm about this. No, no, notice him. Oh, you got me shitting me. Notice him. Oh, that's frustrating. Jungle, go and listen to the sound of the sound of the sound of the sound. Understand? Gotta go back. Brother! He's got a great run. Minnag! Pedaya! Hit Jalta Koyla Chahiye! God damn, there's a whole breath. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do a whole ritual, all right. We're gonna burn it off of him? Damn. Oh no, oh, he's piecing it together. Oh no. It's keeping out to Tum Katrim for Sikhil. Bye to Tikogana. Uh, you better remember this, all right, when you're right. fine. Angrezo ne hamare gaon se ek bachi ko uta liya. Bahut baar tum se madad maangne ki sochi. Magar tum par koi khatra na hai, isliye nahi bataya. Na ki isliye ki hame tum par yakeen nahi. Ah, God, you're confiding in the wrong guy. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, there that. I thought you... they were sneaking. Right. <laughs> nope. Oh, they are no sneaking in here. Holy Whoa. balls! What have Yo. we got on our hands right now? <laughs> I did not see that coming. This is like some original Jungle Book shit right here. All right. Go spread murder. Murder. 
Mayhem. No. Wrong person. No. Or you can just do that. <laughs> Frick. Yo, this movie is masterfully edited. Yeah. Very well done. There's like four million shots in this movie. Slap the shit out of it. Oh! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Right, whip him. How does it feel? How does it feel to be whipped by chains, huh? <laughs> How does it feel? I like the way you scream. Jesus. Akhtar. Yep. Our boy. That's oh our other God. boy. No. It's like revelations up in here. Oh, oh, come on, man. Did he man. shave? Is he back to the stash? Come on, man. He's a man of the mission. You both didn't know. He's, he's like freaking four horsemen. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, come on. Surrender. Can he really can't look him in the eyes, huh? Oh no. my god. Oh. oh, here we go. Jesus. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Go for the kill shot there. Whoa. Whoa. Damn, this is amazing choreography. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a fire and water. Fire and water. <laughs> yes. Damn, that is an epic ass shot. <laughs> Holy crap. So cool. <laughs> Yes, Holy God! Yes. This is like the injustice video game. <laughs> it's like Mortal Kombat up here. I love it. <laughs> it's so sick. <laughs> Ouch! Oh my Yikes. God! How is his foot more powerful than? Uh, <gasps> can't do it. You know you can't do it. You love him. You also can't bring him in dead. Remember. Oh no, not Use it that. Against them? Oh, you got to be kidding me. That is so messed up. So bring him bad luck. Jeez, oh, what a god. shot. Oh my god. The you blood an infection tier. doing that, man. Mr. A. Ramaraju is being awarded the rank of special officer. You got what you wanted. Hope you're happy. Was it worth it, Raju? Those squats mean nothing. He squatted you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you danced together. Ab khun machal raha hai asli goli chalane ke liye, Baba. Rifle kab doge? Oh. Now it's a flashback. Yes, <laughs> I don't know. Training ke baad hume hathiyar chahiye. Tumhare paas ek rifle hai aur kuch goli hai. Oh my God! Did he send his son in there to be like the ultimate undercover guy? Hmm. I'm ki rifle chalai thi, Baba. Kilona sabar rakha hai. Kilona hai. Meri bhi thi, Baba. Lekin Ram chalaya tha bhot achha hai. Aaye dikhati hu. Four dead Englishmen. One bullet. <laughs> Where did he stand from, though? That's the real question. Holy shit. Damn. Oh my god, what? That turned so fast. We scared him, sir. 
Whoa! Ooh. Yikes! Got him in the finger and the back. Yeah, baby. Show him how it's done. Oh no! 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 Don't. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You fucking asshole! No, no! Oh, oh no. Lord. No. Shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna lean. There it is. Ooh, in the face. Father got a Got it. Yeah, so he's playing a real long game here. Yeah. Imagine ki azadi ke liye lad raha hu. Unhi ko chhod pahuncha raha hu. Exactly. Yeah. Kya is kimat par manzil pana theek hai? Main nahi janta. Tum to mere saath ho na. Tumara Ram. This movie's really good. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> Flog him till he falls to his knees, confessing his crime of daring to rise against us. And begs for mercy. This music is great, too. No. Didn't really come this far. I kind of uh, whip your own best friend, man. It's like so messed up. Sick, dude. It's getting hard off of this. There's hardly any blood. Oh, you bitch. Oh, Jesus, lady. Oh, he's making him bend. He didn't kneel. She has to die first. Yeah. Oh, he was making sure he didn't kneel. Officer. Oh, oh my fuck. God, you gotta be shitting me. That's just the distance. It's turning to fucking passion of the Christ. <laughs> Make that bastard kneel now! No. Ah! Mm. Well, Rasha, you gotta be motivated in some way. <laughs> Ouch. Jesus Christ. Damn. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, my God. Uh, that's awful. Rise. Uh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> Idiots didn't realize it. They wanted to make an example out of him. <laughs> All they did is give more fuel. Holy, holy, oh. holy, holy, holy. Dukoke consignment ki delivery ke liye tumhe suna gaya hai. Pata karo Ram. Har haath mein hathiyar hoga. They use that to fight back. Mujhe Malli ko bhi chhodwa kar Beam ko sompna hoga. Finally. Yes. And what was blatantly obvious was your abject failure at bringing this brute to his knees. I'm sorry sir. Main kamyab nahi ho paya. Smart. What did he just do? We'll find out. <laughs> It'll come in handy. Right. Oh, we perfectly slid that in there. Very good. This is a fascinating world. <laughs> it's like, just don't even question the rules like this. <laughs> but, but the movie <laughs> imagines to be like so serious, too. Go faster! I said faster, dammit! Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, he's going to grab that gun, isn't he? Midair? Damn. 
<laughs> Whoa! Jesus. What the hell? What the fuck? Oh! You gotta be kidding me. No. No. There we go. Boom. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Ah! Nice. Ah! Now we know what he did. Ah, yeah. Smart. Oh, uh, they're they're in Actor's oh, neck no. of the woods. They they're in his jungle, his yeah. territory now. His turf. Oh! Oh! oh shit! Yeah. Face smashes on these men. All right, it's brutal, man. Oh shit! She's gonna take. Uh, no! My leg! Oh, oh, it's not what you think it is, homie. <laughs> no! Oh. oh, he has no idea. <gasps> no! No! <gasps> oh, next to his head. Next to his head. Thank oh, Christ. God. He'll be so starving, he'll be gnawing at his chains. Or the gnarly beard, man. Oh, <laughs> snap! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Until my eyes are still in the blood, I'm going to grow up on my own. Lord! I'm going to grow up on my own. Lord! I'm going to grow up on my own. Oh, God. Throw him in a solitary cell. <laughs> Ouch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> get it. Oh shit. She came oh. over here? Uska mere ki talash lo. Sab hamari madad kijiye. Smart. Get away from me, you dizzy! Oh, you prick. Screw that guy. Apni mangetar ke liye aayi hu. Aur wo kaha hai? British ke liye police inspector ka kaam karte hai. It's too joy, so like... <gasps> I like how they both came to the, re the realizations over the reveal of a necklace. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's good yeah. mirroring, yeah. Lord. <laughs> Him. Shoot. Oh my God, really? He sacrificed himself, huh? Damn. That is a haunting memory right there. To kill his own dad. Fuck, man. But he became a great dancer along the way. Not if he can stop it. <laughs> Gotta save his boy in return. Right. He's dancing. The pattern. The the rhythm. He's beam. 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 Yes. Beam. Na. Beam. Kyo na? Kyo hai ho beam? Na mujse bahut badi galti ho gayi. Shh, guys. <laughs> Brothers. Hey! Yeah! Let's do this. Fight is one. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Go. Oh my god, that's so sick. <laughs> that's incredible. Yes. <laughs> Do it, man. Yes. <laughs> oh. They're one Superman. Oh shit! Oh cool! Hell yes! <laughs> yes! This is gnarly. Yes! <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> yes! yes! Dual wielding. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Go! Yay! Oh my god, they're becoming a centipede. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna flip him up there? <laughs> ah, yes! yes! They've just no had- No fucking uh, way! Yes! <laughs> One shot! That's what wow. I'm talking about, my man. What the- <laughs> <laughs> this is so insane. <laughs> so creative. Yes. I love it. It's I love so it. Oh, man. He just knows an herb for every situation. Woo! Fire! You don't even know where he's at, dude. Turn on those lights! Oh, it's so sick. Ab or pagna nahi hai. Ab bas pagana hai. Hell yeah. Oh! Oh, holy God. <laughs> Yikes, right in the jugular. <laughs> Sick. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. Load. You saw the bridge scene. Yeah. <laughs> they don't need words. Shoot! Hey! Damn. Boom! Shaka laga laga laga. Nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sick! <laughs> oh, oh! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's like, what's he gonna do? What the fuck? Oh, he's just gonna grab it. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, the ver reprisal! Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> Look at them go! I love that twist under the the horse. That was amazing. Yes, Ghost Rider. This TNT. Oh, yeah, literally. this TNT, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, they are destroying the British oh, Empire. Oh, my God. Why'd you go inside? When did you go inside? <laughs> <laughs> Is he trying to get guns for everyone? I think it's a little too late for that, man. Is that my blood? It's mine. Oh, this hurts. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Your sadistic wife is dead. Sucks to suck. Whoa. <laughs> She's like covered in the barbed wires and everything. I got weapons for all the villages. Yes. Oh, the bullet. The bullet. The bullet. Lord. No. No. 
Yeah. Oh, this is great. This is so cathartic. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> They're the best. The greatest chemistry. Aw, they finally get to be together. Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> he really does look like a warrior. I mean, uh, he pulls off the long hair really well. Pulls, pulls off every look he's had in this you movie. You know, screw you, man. <laughs> you can look like both. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> pulls off both looks too well. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 her story. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm a little focused on Ram's story. <laughs> mm. <laughs> She's got to get her back home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Beautiful. Wonderful. All right. Wow. Okay. I'll listen to Netflix. I'll just watch something else now. <laughs> put on Wednesday. It's those credits <laughs> Just keep it rolling. Same video. <laughs> Three hours. Why don't you just watch something else now? <laughs> Bullet Train's already on Netflix? What? <laughs> that was awesome. Dope. Dope. Let's talk about it after I go to the bathroom really quick. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Well... Didn't look up anything in that bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have. <laughs> no, going in blind, no, baby. I've hit it record. We're going. We just went in so blind with this. I was like, "Keep it blind. Keep it blind. Just come from here." Uh, it was fascinating going into this because, uh, like I said, I hadn't seen like a, fr a a frame of this movie before watching it. But you know, the talk I always heard was like, "This film's crazy. This film's wild. You gotta watch this movie. It's crazy." And so my preconceived notions before watching it were that it's like it's just going to be three hours of just insane visuals and action scenes from beginning to end. Like this is what I thought based off the way everyone described the experience of this movie. And to me, I'm like, well, it's not that at all. Like, I mean, like they, they have their sequences that are like crazy, you know, <laughs> don't get me Definitely. wrong. They have sequences that are like so visually expressionate and insane and enthralling and like obviously like without a doubt but it's not this like non-stop chaotic thing that the way how people have sort of like talked this movie up in that regard I was like this movie is actually a lot deeper than than, than anyone let on. like no one literally nobody no like it, and when you heard about this wasn't it was that like mainly what you would hear like yeah. this movie's crazy it's like three yeah. hours of the non-stop action yeah, I'm like, like, that's not the craziest movie like, i've ever seen they go long stretches without action they go like very long stretches i could probably count on like and like a couple of hands, and I heard nobody talk about the dancing. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's a Bollywood <laughs> movie, so I guess you would expect that. But I've never seen, and, and my brother Jabby Kowe, obviously very much in that whole international market. But this is my first. Um, I think this is my first feature film out of, and I, I'm afraid to get this wrong because I know it's a lot of times you get these regions all messed up, and it can offend. And I we don't intend to. Just look at us as dumb Americans, okay? Um, but yeah, the uh, it was the first Indian movie, Bollywood film ever experienced. Uh, me personally, and you, you yourself yeah. too. So yeah, I've never watched one before, not for camera or just in my own life. So they must my, all this... be the same, and they must all be this way, <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. All of them are three hours long, <laughs> and they're all exactly like this. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest market in all in the in the entertainment field. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I mean, for a first time experience with that, I thought it was a lot deeper than because it deals so much with anti colonialism. And granted, like my history is not the sharpest when it comes to this stuff, but you know, it you, you can pick up on it even if you're not super familiar with it. Obviously, dealing with the, the British Empire rule, and then it's, it's a story about overcoming oppression and coming together. And also, you know, you have these two guys on uh, who, who are fighting for the same cause anti colonialism, they're fighting for the same cause. And they, you know, one's more tribal and one's more westernized culture, uh, indoctrinated into it. And then by the end of it, they, it's like they learn through the revolutionary ways and through the, the causes that it's kind of have to be a blend of both while they're revolting, you know. And I, I think it was kind of a really cool personal story 
I think I did hear forever ago because you were saying this in between the film that it might, you made a joke like is it based on a true story? But I actually heard it might it might be based on a true story. What I did hear that like it must be inspired by something true because obviously like it seems like historically like I don't know exactly who in that final dance number everyone it's showcasing. I don't know anyone they're really showcasing there because yeah uh, my history on the on, on that side is is not that large, um, but. Obviously, it was like this must be in reference to real life people, <laughs> you know. <laughs> These must be real life people, and uh, who who did stand up against all this bullshit they had to deal with. But it is so much more than just bang bang cool sweet visuals, and it's neat to get a movie that has so much of uh, uh, about like real life war themes happening throughout. But then also to combine it with some of that eighties like action cheese in a way that looks super sweet. So, yeah, man. Yeah, dude. I just think that we talk, you talked a lot about how everyone talked about how crazy it was in terms of action. I think the thing that surprised me the most was how much heart it had and the relationship between the two main characters. I never, I have not seen a bromance that strong in a movie in yeah. I don't know how long. And you know, it was really heartbreaking watching these two guys come to head because you're just, even though there's a song at the beginning of the movie that kind of foretells the things are going to happen, even when it is happening, you're just like, no, you guys are so great together. You guys just had a dance number and you like, you do squats and you, <laughs> <laughs> and you ride motorcycles and you around. ride horses. I that came back around. Like, the <laughs> yeah. beginning, this is like, it's just kind of funny. And, yeah. and, and then it comes into play in the, in the, in the big rescue scene. Yeah. yeah it's it's, it's so both funny. hilarious and it's badass and, yeah, man, I think it it really told a story and really made you dislike and have like a a bitter resentment towards the 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 British and the and anti colonialism. And I think that watching these two guys come together in the end was super satisfying, in spite of the fact that you know I for the most part I didn't really feel the runtime. I was just kind of super invested in everything that was yeah. going on. And yeah, I just it didn't liked. feel like three hours. Huh? No, it didn't feel like three hours. It felt like two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly accurate. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I think that, you know, I, what really made the mu- movie for me was like the music. The music and the sound design was incredible in this. The stunt work was incredible in this movie. Like all of the the different wire work and how creative they were with the action scenes. Mm-hmm. It was like, yeah, it's you can tell that. I think it was a, a, what my takeaway is like, Great action and great storytelling is international. It's made everywhere. Granted, I obviously we I we've both watched foreign films on this channel before. I don't watch as many foreign films as I would like to uh, in my personal life, but I think doing stuff like this with Greg really kind of opens my eyes up to the different types of of film that's out there. You know, and the, the way they they utilize the camera and the way that they utilize slow motion to uh, to kind of elevate their storytelling. And yeah, just you see that they infuse both their culture with this, uh, with the way that they elevated their characters. For example, like the the dancing scene with them having like the dance off. So he's kind of wingmanning, so his boy can get the girl at the end of the day. And I was just like, I thought that was a very clever use of using something that's traditional in more Indian films to kind of. I don't like Grant. I don't know if how they're used in other films, but I was just like, that's that's fucking smart. I like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think there's just a lot of really clever usage of of uh, all the things, all the stuffs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super. No, yeah. it's a, it's a massive technical achievement in in every regard because, like, cinematography wise, everything really pops. It's gorgeous. It looks like it was filmed on like IMAX cameras or something because I can see that. The the way that I, I really love IMAX cameras and there, and there's parts about it that felt like did they shoot this on, on that type of HD lens, um, but yeah the, the everything really popped and it is very imaginative, and it, it is so many different styles and tones all meshed into one yeah and it flows uh, it, it's kind of like a very different movie but I would use similar nouns and adjectives to describe is like everything everywhere all at once yep like this yep, is yep, yep. wild and i've never seen anything quite like it 
and it's a bunch of different things all in a big blender, and somehow it all communicates well, and I'm never laughing at the movie, no, <laughs> you know? Exactly. And I th- and I felt some kind of a similar experience here, you know, and especially to, to get that that Bollywood dance number when um, Beam is with uh, Jenny, and, and and then they go into the Bollywood dance number. I thought that was such a a beautifully exec- executed sequence, and you felt like you felt like to pump me up about it, you know, because it, it took me a little bit of time to be like, okay, what exactly is this movie? What exactly, where exactly is this going? But when they do come together, when they do like touch brothers in arms, you know, yeah. like it's about how they have to unite together and embrace their different parts of where they come from within the same hemisphere here. That That is the thing that could lead to conquest over this oppression. And so that's the journey, like that's a deeper part of this journey, you know? And I think it's kind of a beautiful story. Like, it's actually a beautiful story in a lot of ways. So I, I get why this resonated so much more beyond just like it's a big Indian film. Like it, it seemed to really make its way over to here, and I was kind of surprised just because I, I've never heard of it, and I never, I never even saw a trailer for it. But seeing what this movie is now, I'm like, no, I, I could get it because, you know, we've we we have our own dealings with uh, with wars and history, and I feel like themes about anti-colonialism and oppression and, and overcoming the racism and all that, like all those things we've, I think that's a universal thing. Yeah. As much as this is very specifically tied to the Indian culture and the history, those subjects and feelings that can be a very universal uh, attainable feeling that we all can sort of connect to in some way, shape or form. And I think this movie really hits that Mark strong because they keep it as an intimate story between the two of them. And I, I love the arc. Like, I really like Beam a lot. Like he's great. He kind of reminds me of an anime character. Just, yeah, just like those those anime characters Bob. who's ever he's like great. shocked by things. Just, oh, like yeah. every every time he's like a reveal happens, you know, an anime character is always like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and that's kind of like whenever something's an anime. <gasps> yeah, you'd make a great reaction channel. Um, Hi, yes, but um, the the IMDb is kind of confused. We have IMDb pulled in front of us. I thought his name was Ram. Or the subtitles wrong? Netflix was kind of bugging out on us when we were watching. Yeah, it. a little bit. I mean, is it Ram, named Ram or Raju? Raju, at the Raju. end right there. Yeah, but I thought sometimes the subtitle said his name was Ram. It was the actor's name. Uh, yeah, that's what it says on IMDb. <laughs> but in the subtitles, sometimes it said Ram on the subtitles. That's weird. Netflix is tripping. Netflix was was bugging out on us while we were watching. I'm like, well, we, there's only so much we can do for it. <laughs> like, <it's> Netflix is <laughs> wrong. I think they... Let me, let me just I'm type this in. RRR character names. Let me just look here. Let me just look here. Um, of course, they don't have his name. <laughs> the one guy's name I'm looking for right now is the of one all not the name not listed right now. Rama, Rama, right? Rama. No, Rama. No. His that's name, the actor's name. Yeah. That, why did the subtitle? Sound like, that's what was confusing me. Sometimes the subtitle said that because the subtitles couldn't be contained by the sheer epicness of the movie that it got confused. That's the only logical explanation. For why it would mix things up, because it's like, oh, it's a music. Okay, okay, but look right here. What? Uh, uh, Sita, uh huh. Rama Raju's fiance. Is that not confusing? Rama? Maybe Rama's Rama was... the character is the actor's no, name. No, I'm saying that like maybe that was like his. I don't know. That's weird that it would have one no, of his names the there. there. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> it would it's fiance, help. but it's not in his his actual like legal name, I suppose. Was he using a fake name when he was in the British? Uh, I don't know. A little uh, detail. Whatever. I mean, we picked up on the main things. We did. That's the main thing that matters. Uh, Rama Raju. I think it was, I think this is his name. Rama. So, yeah, with, with Rama, like his character portrayal I thought was great because it is such an at odds, and it is that kind of relatable story of the detective who goes so far undercover <laughs> that he loses sight of everything and has to get nasty and dirty. But beyond that, you know, it's someone who, like, I love the goal at hand was he had to go that far into the into the uh, the depths of it all, in or and, and no matter what went in his way, nothing nothing could get in the way of that. And he had to provide guns for his villagers, put a weapon in front of for his whole all his people, and uh, watching that journey that it's not worth sacrificing certain it's not worth sacrificing people though for it you know and this and like their friendship mattered above all but it's also like a really fun movie and cool like it's kind of crazy because you know, people talk so much about how gnarly of an experience this movie was and it is an experience but i, I feel like not enough people talk about like no it's an actual story 
It's a real uh, movie with a real plot and real characters yeah. and a real journey and real themes and real life <laughs> subjects they're dealing with. And everyone just talks about like the, the there's like a, there's not it's not the, the action stands out. But it, I wouldn't say out of three hours, it's like no. a lot of action. I think the character stuff stands out more than the action, in my opinion. I think um, maybe they're about on par. I think the coolest thing about the movie for me is the fact that it is able to have this crazy, wild action. Yet, when it's happening, even though it's ridiculous, you still buy into the stakes of what they're doing. Yeah, and you still care, and you're still rooting for them because you've invested so much time with them when the, when the movie is grounded that by the time things are going bananas, you're just, you're just cheering or... or you're having high emotional reactions because we really didn't want to see them fight when they when they stormed the the British castle or whatever, and you really didn't want to see them come to head when he was when he was whipping him, you know. And I thought that was a powerful scene, watching him kind of sing the song and like not bending the knee in front of all the people and inspiring them. I was like, man, like we need to see like some of that stuff in more movies. It kind of Ryan, even though it's it's the opposite side of the world like some of their aspects of it that reminded me of like american slavery and and like the, obviously the whipping and like the knee and other aspects reminded me of jesus you know uh re- like inspiring people and like being like the martyr to to get the people to revolt and i think that it's it's cool that both of them had this goal to do it but that neither of them saw it and they in in some ways there was like this this unspoken kinship before they knew each other's intentions, and maybe that was part of what bonded them because they sensed each other's each other's souls, you know. And I think that, yeah, the movie really demonstrates a lot of cool callbacks and symbolisms, like the whole necklace thing. Like they each they each had a reveal or realization when they saw the necklaces on each other's person, and yeah, and yeah, it's just a lot of really cool stuff. The music really really worked for me. My music was brilliant. Brilliant. It yeah. really drove helped drive the narrative that much further. Well, I think like, you know, uh one represents fire and one represents water mm. and you and they are such yeah. opposites that clash, but the whole point is that you're supposed to be a blend of both together. Yeah. And it's kind of like the movie Inside Out. <laughs> <laughs> can't have uh can't have joy without sadness, you know. <laughs> you just watched it. It's fresh. I know. So everything's going to relate to Inside Out for the next six months now. <laughs> but I definitely see, can see what you mean about everything everywhere all at once because it did have a lot of those elements to it as well. You know, the balance of comedy, the balance of drama, the balance of action, the the celebration well, the, aspects, the, the, of it. the whimsy of it all, the, the comedy, yeah, the yeah, cartoonish nature. <laughs> yeah, this is a well balanced film, a well balanced breakfast. I'm full. I feel I feel good after watching it, and. But the guy who plays Raja, man, I thought he was freaking brilliant. I thought both he, of them were great. He, yeah, they're both great. The Raja guy, though, it's like he's he just has that. They both command the screen, but he commands the screen. I mean, he got the more. I think he got the more interesting character. You know, yeah. like he's the one with the real conflict and the real like messed up past. You know, that scene <laughs> was crazy. Watching his whole family die. Yeah, and, and then having kill to kill his own sacrifice dad. his father. Wild. And like and that like that's like a core wound memory. I can set out. It's a core memory for uh, of like not don't let anything get in the way. Like that he was that that moment that that's the moment that defined him and the journey that he put on. And he had to learn along the way. Like maybe you shouldn't operate like this. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, I thought it was beautiful. I, th- I think there's a lot of beautiful things about it. And I think the the way this movie is composed overall, like it's really well thought out and calculated, and the symmetry of the shots, like the the editing of this. It just seems like a nightmare to me to, to try to put this movie together. I'm like, this seems like a vast headache because as much as there's like crazy visual effects with like the animals and, you know, certain other key moments that look beautiful. I really liked how, how much of the production design felt like, oh, you got real extras here. You got real like weapons here. You got real costumes, you know, like you got real set pieces. I, I thought that was great to bring it all to life too, to mix it with the, with the CGI. That way it, feels more attainable <laughs> and, and i think that's what helps have something that's heightened but believable <laughs> when you when you mesh the two together so i thought it was gorgeous to look at and it just made for a really interesting experience and then unlike any other movie i've seen so sorry for putting it off for so long but here we are merry christmas you made it merry christmas merry christmas this is a universal time for a lot of us here and um yeah i feel like it is, I mean, i'm not sure if there's 
I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we talked about the main things we wanted to mention here. Checked all the boxes. It was fun. Great stuff. Everything was great. Everything was great. Maybe the women characters could have been fleshed out a little bit more. We could have got more Jenny. We could have got more of um, C- Raj's. What's her name? Sita? 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 Yeah. I think that's her name. Both of them. We need more both of them. I mean, I like them. I thought, I thought they were good. But I don't know. the movie's about the two. Movie. Movie's about the two guys. It's about <laughs> yeah. romance, brotherhood. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Oh, and the Ray Stevenson was a good villain too. He really, really I, I think him being the the ba- the main baddie was um, a good call because he had that right level of. He wasn't too over the top, but it was like just cheeky enough. <laughs> the <laughs> wife like, was like, she was like devious. Oh, she's the worst. She's the worst. She's the villain. She was like he wouldn't have done half the things he did if it why wasn't is he for not her. Bleeding? I'm like, Jesus. It's the woman's f- problem. It's the woman's <laughs> fault. <laughs> why the man messed up? <laughs> what is this world coming to? <laughs> since the, since the 1800s, the women have been controlling men. <laughs> or 1900s, 19 what 1800s, 1900s. It's, it's got to be the 1900s. It's got to be like before World War II, a little bit before. 19 it's right here. 1920. 1920. Okay. Yeah. All right. We figured that out. <laughs> Did we figure we we that right before this video? Ended. <laughs> All righty, guys. Well, thank you for being here. Be sure to uh, subscribe, click that bell, leave a like. What did you think of RRR? Um, last but not least, Aaron, I wanted to do a pick. Brandon Benzi. Hello. Hello. It's your friend Aaron here. I'm here to tell you thanks for being a great patron. You know, I know this guy isn't giving you enough love. You know, I haven't given you enough love. I didn't even know you existed until like four seconds ago. But I just want to say you were loved and you were appreciated. And buy yourself something nice this Christmas. You know, get those sandals you always wanted or that massage gun or that weighted blanket. You know you really want that weighted blanket. I want that weighted blanket. You know, maybe if we can like split it somehow, like I'll send you some money and then you can like ship it to me sometime. Anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, we just want to thank you for being a great patron and for supporting the channel. And you're a superstar. You're loved. And Greg's going to get you a Christmas gift personally. This is the gift. This is this is the gift. Aaron shouting you. What you really wanted when you pledged to this Patreon for a shout out was that Aaron shouts you out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. He told me and I was like, I'm honored. Of course. Yeah. I got you, buddy. I got you. We're gonna we're gonna make great things happen next year. Enjoy those slippers. I'm gonna ask you. you in a, I'm gonna ask you in a month if you remember who we shouted out in our. If, if you're like Brandon Benzie, of course. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you five dollars. Okay. All right. You heard that. You heard that, Ben. Five dollars coming right, Brandon Benzie. You heard that, Brandon. I mean, Aaron. What? No refunds, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. They know it all sincerity. Thank you, Brandon, for being here. You've been you've been part of our page for uh, like a good amount of time already, like uh, most of 2022. So thank you, and thank you for helping us end 2022 on a strong note, buddy. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Mm-hmm.